hello and welcome back to my channel and today we are gonna do a bookshelf tour so going over all the books that i own my little trinkets on my shelf and this whole shelf is basically everything i own there might be a few things that my husband has on here but pretty much everything on this is mine kind of go into when i got the books if i wrote in them probably which i have um or if somebody else wrote in them and yeah i thought it would be fun because i know a lot of my book videos i don't really show any books that i own like a rare few i read most of my books through like the library don't really buy books anymore i used to when i was younger but now i just trying to be more frugal only buy books that i really enjoy so yeah let's go ahead and get into it and i'll try and do some up close shots and i hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and start So kind of you saw the overview, I kind of have a lot of different stuff. At the top of my bookshelf, I, you know, I just have some decorations, pictures of me and AJ. But my first shelf, we'll go ahead and go into, let's do the trinkets first. So as you can see, picture of me and AJ again. We also have a bunch of CDs that AJ made for me. Um, for like Valentine's Days and anniversaries, stuff like that. Um, this was actually our wedding cake topper. So I have that on the shelf as decoration. You have a lot of stuff from your wedding that you don't know what to do when you're, after you're married. We have a little violin in a case. I played violin for six years. So I just have this as a little memory of that time and we have a ski ball desktop this was actually at my desk for the longest time but um i don't really have time to play it so i just brought it home but getting into the books um so the first book i have is the purpose driven life by rick warren i have heard a lot about this book i haven't actually read it yet so it is on my list of books to read and hopefully I'll get to that sometime soon. I think that was a gift. And we have The God of Yes by Judd Wilhite. Um, if you watched my videos last year, you know I read this book last year, so I have that. That was a gift as well. Then we have I Am With You Always by Chip Ingram. I haven't read this yet. Um, I don't remember when I got it, but I have that up here. Kind of the theme for my top shelf is like my Christian books and Harry Potter. <laughs> um, then I have my Holy Bible. Um, I'm trying to remember, my grandma gave this to me in 2007. So when I was in seventh grade, I actually have like notes in here and everything. Then I have The Seven Principles of Making Marriage Work by John M. Gottman. We actually got this when we got married, so, and I haven't read it yet. <laughs> and we've been married three years, so I probably should get on that and read that. Then I have this three minute devotions for women, so just different devotionals in here, more notes in here, as always. We have the first four Harry Potters, as you can see, well loved. These boys have been read so often. The front cover of the last one, I actually had to tape on, back on because it fell off. I think I have my name written in the game. Let me just check. No, I don't. I'm surprised. But yeah, uh, my first four Harry Potters what started it all. Yeah. 
these box cases. It's hard to... Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I didn't write in this one either. I'm, I must have had some restraint because I got some of them later in life. Half Blood Prince. Deathly Hollows. I distinctly remember going to buy this when it came out. And I actually do have my name written in that one. That's, that's a little sad that I did that. And then we have Cursed Child. So I think this was a gift as well. So that is my top shelf. I haven't read most of those. So I haven't read one, two, three of those books, but all the rest of them I have. So we'll go ahead and go on to the next shelf. All right, so we'll go ahead and do our second shelf here. We have our trinkets first. We'll do, I have a New York City little skyline thing. I got this the first time I went to New York City when I was like maybe eight years old with my grandparents. Um, I kept it all this time. So um, actually one of the buildings kind of broke, but um, it's kind of cool that I kept this all this time. And then I have this little Paris book and it's like a pop-up little book so you can see the different like museums and stuff. My aunt got this for me when she went to Paris. Gosh, probably when I was in high school. Then we have a little box that says Indianapolis, Indiana. I got this at a vintage shop and I thought it was really cool. Um, and I actually have some like flattened pennies in there and some, a Euro apparently. I didn't know I have that, so hey. And then I have a little mug with bookmarks in it um, from when I was really into Animal Crossing. That was my character, but I have, you know, bookmarks from my cousins and stuff all in there. Not really that super interesting. I have a little fox that I painted and I have a little sock monkey. My sister gave me this like, gosh, years and years ago. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and go into all the books that are on this shelf. The first one we have is Yes Please by Amy Poehler. Um, man, I think I got this as a gift. So that's kind of a theme. It's like I got books for gifts, but I read this a long time ago and I enjoyed it. Then I have Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee and. I think my grandpa gave, loaned me this book and I never gave it back. Um, so if you're watching, I'm sorry. I still haven't read it, but hopefully I'll read it soon. I have like a journal next. I don't know where else to put it. We have Aziz Ansari's Modern Romance. I believe this was a gift as well. <laughs> so read that. We have Little Weirds by Jenny Slate. I had to put them next together. They were co-stars after all. This was a present for my sister. I do remember that. We have Coast of Chicago by Stuart Dybeck. I talked about this last year as well. I reread it. Um, this was a book from college that I read. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Um, Indiana author, so that was cool that he lives here. I think one of my friends actually met him once. Uh, we have Gone Girl, Julian Flynn. I love Gone Girl. I um, love it. Mindy Kaling, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? And Other Concerns. I love Mindy Kaling's books. I think she's a great writer. I don't have her other one. Cormac McCarthy, The Road. I read this, I believe in high school, and it was like my favorite book for the longest time. Like I read it like maybe five times. On the Road, Jack Kerouac. I think I also got this in high school. It was one of my favorites for a long time. 
Pride and Prejudice, Jane Austen, my favorite Jane Austen story. We have the complete poetry in selected prose of Keats. And I've read a few things in here, but I haven't actually like read the whole thing. And kind of like the condition of the book, I think I got this at like a vintage store. Station Eleven, um, Emily St. John Mandel. I want to reread this book so before I watch the series on HBO. But I have read it and I love it. This is my copy of As You Like It by Shakespeare. And this was actually originally my grandpa's copy and he gave it to me. The funny thing about this is I think like there's like sections in it that are messed up but you can see like my grandpa's handwriting in it which I think is really cool and then he wrote me a little note like he always does he says Stacy there's a goat on the battlements no neither goat nor ghost or ghost or goat or both love Bill Shakespeare but it's really my grandpa but it's kind of cool because you can see his notes throughout I forget what the mess up in this book is I really can't remember if I remember, I'll come back to it. Then we have Maya Angelou. I know why the cage bird sings. I believe I got this used somewhere. I read that last year for the first time. And then, I'm a Kindle. I know. And then I have some just journals down there. You don't want to see those, but my books keep falling over. But <laughs> that is this shelf. And we'll go ahead and get to the next one. All right, now we are on like my history shelf. I was a history major, so this is my basically history shelf. Trinkets first. I have a actual like Liberty Bell, the crack and everything. I got this at a vintage store. Then we have a Lincoln bust. I can't remember where I got this, but if you know me, you know I love Abe. Then we have a, actually a pencil sharpener, but it's like shaped as a sonogram, or not sonogram, <laughs> phonograph. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. And then we have like a little bag um, that my mom got me in Montana. So I thought it was kind of cute. And we'll go ahead and go into all the books on this shelf. My first book, Massive. <laughs> We have From Dawn to Decadence, 500 Years of Western Cultural Life by Jacques Barzon. My grandpa gave me this book and once again, he wrote in it, he said to Stacy from Grandpa for your history library. Love you, XOXO. In 2014, apparently he gave me this book. And I have to be honest, I didn't read the whole thing, but I did read sections. So I think that counts. Then we have Lincoln, A Life of Purpose and Power by Richard Carwardine. And I haven't read this either. I'm slacking. But I do have that book and I do need to read it. Then we have Becoming by Michelle Obama. Uh, this was a gift, I believe. I read that, I think last year. Then we have A Promised Land by Barack Obama. And I got this as a present for my mom, not last year, but the year before. I believe I got it for Christmas. We have Crossing Troublesome, 25 years of Appalachian Writers Workshop. I don't remember getting this. And I haven't read it, so I will plan to read it one day. <laughs> As with all my books, I plan to read. <laughs> Local People, The Struggles for Civil Rights in Mississippi by John Dittmer. I read this in college for my civil rights history class. And there are a ton of highlighter marks, pen marks, everything. Uh, from what I remember, I really enjoyed that. Any books from my history curriculum I didn't enjoy, I got rid of. So. Then I read, I have The Great War in Modern Memory by Paul Fussell. This is another book that I got in college. More notes in there. How the Irish Saved Civilization 
and by this Thomas Cahill. I haven't read this, but it's been on my list for a while to read. The Drowned in the Sea by Prima Levy. This is one of my favorite books from college that I saved, and I don't have any notes in it, which is surprising. I am Malala. Um, oh, something just fell out of that. But I have had this for a while, really enjoyed reading that. I'm kind of curious what this thing is. someone gave this to me as a present and I kept the little note in here and they said I saw this on your Goodreads what want to read list she's one of my heroes so I wanted to make sure you got to read it that was nice I don't remember that but um that was cool then we have The Color of Water by James McBride I haven't read this but I have wanted to read it a lot of the books on my history shelf I'm planning on reading their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. This is on my to-read list. And I actually, we have a thing called the library sale and I actually got this from the library sale. And basically the library sale is the library will have old books that they don't want anymore and you can go and buy them. And they they have $7 bag days or if you don't go on a $7 bag day, I think it's like 50 cents for paperback, something like that. The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Been meaning to read this for a while. Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. Um, read this in college and really enjoyed it. And despite its marking, I did finish this book. I don't know why there's a bookmark in here. I probably need to take that out. Then we have Stars in Their Courses by Shelly Foot. I haven't read this yet and I'm not sure why I took the cover off. We have Jane Addams, 20 Years a Whole House. Um, read this in college. It's actually kind of a used book as well. I don't remember where I got that. We have another Primo Levy, Survival in Auschwitz. Um, another book that I got in college. The Autobiography of Malcolm X. This I've been meaning to read this book for so long. Um, it is on my to read list. We have Sitting Bull by Bill Dogan. Haven't read this yet. Then we have On the Beach by Neville Shoot. And I have not read this yet either. So kind of like I mentioned earlier, a lot of my history books I have either read or, but majority of them I haven't, just need to get around to it. Um, I've been kind of more into reading fiction more than nonfiction lately. So I think that's a big reason for it. But yeah, my little history shelf. And if you ever have any, re any recommendations for me about history, let me know and I'll try and read them. On to the next shelf. All right, we're getting down on the floor now, but we have our second to last shelf. Go over all of the trinkets again. Um, we have a nice little framed photo of my grandparents that they gave me, and I have that on the shelf. Then we have a little um, glass box that was actually my great grandma's, and I have a little piece of paper in there. No, I guess. And then we have, Lord, I made this little box in like an art class. And we have Groot, which is actually like a plant holder. We have a little bowl that I got at like an art fair or something. We have like a DIY day with the letter S for Stacy, and I really like this illustration, so I kept it in. But don't worry, this book was like in another language or something. Like it's it's not that deep, okay? And in the back, I'm not gonna bring it out, but I'll kind of show you. It's like a little scrapbook of photos of me and AJ. So 
and that is that. And we'll go ahead and go into all the different things I have. Let's start off over here this time. We have the girl with the dragon tattoo. And I haven't read this yet. It's on my to read list. We have the girl who played with fire. The sequel. I just got this at Goodwill for like two bucks. So I need to read that. We have Know My Name by Chanel Miller. One of my favorite books that came out recently. I actually just picked this up at Barnes & Noble um, because we are going to be doing it for book club. So I'm going to be rereading that. We have The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I actually read this pretty recently. So I do have that. We have a book I got at uh, Half Price Books called A Girl Named Zippy. It was in the clearance section for $2 and it's been on my want to read list for a while. So I need to read that. Another book I got at Half Price Books um, called The Antiques by Chris Agnostino. I haven't read it yet, but I will get to it. We have a book about um, composting and when I was living with my grandma for a little bit, I was talking to her about composting. So she got me this book and she wrote on the front, Stacy love Gma XOXO. Then we have Missoula by John Cracker. Crack Cracker? Crack. Mm, I'm gonna give up. Um, I haven't read this yet. Got the full library book sale. I have a thousand splendid sons. It's on my one to read list. I haven't read it yet. We have Where the Sidewalk Ends, Shell Silver Scene. This is iconic. It even has the CD in it still. I mean, props to me because I probably got this when I was real young. I mean, come on, my handwriting, atrocious. We have Little Women, the illustrated copy, Louisa May Alcott. Oh man, I've had this for years. I'll bring out all of my Calvin and Hobbes at the same time. But we have basically the complete collection of Calvin and Hobbes. So these were actually my sister's and she so graciously let me have them. I don't know why she did that, but Thanks, Alyssa. And I treasure them. I love Calvin and Hobbes. They're one of my favorites. And then my last one is actually a kid's book that I've had since I was probably a baby. Um, Asleep in a Heap. And my grandma actually wrote in this as well. So she wrote, To Stacy from Grandma, with all my love. So that was really sweet. So that's my second to last shelf. And we'll go ahead and do the very last one. Now we're really on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible angle um but I'll probably just show the books and my voice be off screen um so let's get into the last shelf of my bookshelf first the only trinket down here is my wonderful little baby phoenix sleeping so cute uh let's start over here um that's my yearbook we're not gonna really discuss that. <laughs> this is a actually a historical uh, like. Sorry, my cat's being crazy. A historical like journal, and the reason I kept it is because I actually have my name in the back as part of a historical honor society that I was part of. And then we have the boy in the suitcase. Haven't read it yet. Dear Daughter by Elizabeth Little. Haven't read it yet. <laughs> A lot of these I haven't read, so that's why they're banished. The Red Chameleon, Erica Wright. Not sure of that book. Not... We have The Hand on the Mirror. Not read that yet. We have Erica Spindler, The First Wife. Not read. We have Capital Men by Philip Dre. I actually have read this, and this is a history book, so I'm not sure why I don't have it up higher. We have Water for Elephants. 
I have read this and I actually really enjoyed it. We have The American Soul by Jacob Needleman. I... Hold on. I have not read that. We have No Matter How Loud I Shout, A Year in the Life of Juvenile Court. I haven't read this yet. It's on my to read list. We have Calling Me Home. My grandma gave me this book and it's super cute. Um, and she wrote me a little note. She actually wrote it to me and AJ so said, this book is about a girl and a boy who fall in love and they were white and black. I cried my eyes out. It was, I was thankful. The power of God helped people love one another. It was good and sad. I hope you like it. <laughs> so that's kind of cute that she wrote that in there. Locked Inside. This is one of my favorite YA reads from when I was a kid. My sister gave me this book as a gift and we used to read this almost, we would reread it and reread it. I, it's one of my faves. We have The Kite Runner. I read this a very long time ago. I need to reread it. We have The Invention of Wings by Sumon Kid. I actually like read half of this. This is again from my grandma. But she didn't, I think it was a gift to her from somebody else and then she gave it to me. The Glass Palace. I need to reread, I need to read this. I haven't actually read it, but it is very thick. Holes. One of my other favorite YA books, How to Keep That. Rescue, Josh McGuire. And man, this book by Ben Michelson, man, this is one of my another favorites when I was a kid. And actually, this is signed, not to Stacy, but to Alyssa, my sister. And I don't know why she gave me this book, but I do have her signed copy of this and I probably will keep it because I like this book a lot. So, sorry, Alyssa. We have John Steinbeck, Travels with Charlie, In Search of America. I haven't read this. We have Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. I don't know why this isn't on my history shelf either. Maybe I ran out of room. I think that's what. The Innocent Man, John Grisham. I have, someone's recommended this book to me and I was saw it somewhere and I was like, all right, I'll just pick it up. And the very last book on my bookshelf, Where the Red Fern Grows. This is another one that from my childhood that I was obsessed with this book and I reread it constantly. So that is my last shelf and I will pop up and do my outro. So that was my bookshelf tour all the books that I own. My husband actually owns a few more books. <gasps> Wait, I'm spying some on my, sh on his shelf that are actually my books. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I have to show them real quick. I'm sorry. I'll just show them real quick. Room, Emma Donahue, that's my book. Oh my gosh, I'm getting mad now, but he has my books on here. I might regret this, Abby Jacobson. I think that's it that are on my shelf. I don't know why both of those are mine. Maybe he's borrowing them, but yeah, the, both of those are technically my books. Um, so I guess that is literally all the books um, on my shelf. And um, yeah, let me know if you own any of these books, what books I should own recommendations. A lot of the books I have, I actually haven't read. Um, I think that was probably just when I was trying to get rid of some books, just because I, when I was moving a lot, it was hard to keep carting literally five boxes of books everywhere, especially, you know, books are heavy. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.